Hey guys, it's Rick, and I've got your Book of Boba Fett Episode 6 recap. And yes, this has been the best episode yet. Even better than last week's. This episode was like a mini Star Wars movie. Now, it opens up with the Pikes on Tatooine doing an exchange of some kind with some spice in Mos Pelgo. And we see Cobb Van approach them and he lets them know Mos Pelga is his territory. He gives them the option to leave, but they draw on him. He takes out three of them. On the fourth one, he tells them, make sure that you leave, but as a fine, leave the chest. Now after the opening credit rolls, it cuts to Din Djarin flying toward a planet in his Republic Starfighter. He lands and is greeted by R2-D2, and Mando says that he came to see Grogu. R2 leads him to where the builder droids are creating a structure, and then R2 shuts down. Mando realizes that he has to sit and wait. Then we cut to Luke, who is training Grogu, much like Yoda trained him. This was really fun to see, and you get to see Luke starting his Jedi Academy. Then we cut back to Din, who's lying down, but quickly draws his weapon, only to see that Ahsoka Tano is standing in wait. He explains to her that he came to see Grogu, and she explains the conflict that this would cause, as Jedis do not have any attachments. He says he wanted to give him the armor that he had made for him because he is a Mandalorian foundling. She explains that he's now a Padawan. After a brief exchange, he gives her the armor to give to him, and he leaves. Luke continues with Grogu's training. Ahsoka brings the gift, and Luke says that he's not sure of what to do. She states that he must trust his feelings. We cut back to Mando who lands on Tatooine at Boba's palace. Everyone is gathered in the palace and they are discussing what the Pikes are up to. Finnick says that they need foot soldiers. Din says that he may be able to help with that. He flies to Mos Pelgo, which is now called Freetown, requesting Cobb Vance assistance. He asks that Cobb get the town together to help them fight. At first, Cobb is very reluctant, but he does say he will see what he can do. After Mando leaves, Vance says that he wants to set up a town meeting. Then a stranger approaches from afar on foot. The marshal has all the people go inside. That stranger is Cad Bane, and he tells Vance whatever Fett is paying him, the syndicate will double it if he stays out of it. The marshal's deputy steps in and makes the situation even more tense. They end up all drawing on each other. Bane gets the best of both of them. He wounds the marshal and fatally shoots the deputy. And he states to the rest of the town people that Tatooine belongs to the syndicate. And as long as the spice keeps running, everyone will be left alone. Then we cut to inside the club in Mos Espa. Two pikes come in with a case. They sit for a small amount of time, then inexplicably get up and leave. But as they walk out of the door, the servant droid states that they have left their case. And then we see the establishment blow up, thus sending a message to Boba Fett and his people. And then we have the final cut. Luke sits with Grogu and he offers the Mandalorian armor or the lightsaber that he has kept that used to belong to Yoda. And he gives him a choice, but he must pick one. Before the choice is made, it fades to black and the episode ends. As I've stated several times, this entire series has been building up to something and we are going to get a fantastic finale in episode seven. Make sure you stay tuned. As always, stay positive, stay blessed, 
I will see you guys again.